Good evening, I'm meteorologist Grant Skinner with the News 5 First Alert Storm Team here with a tropical update on this Sunday, October 1st. Now tracking post-tropical arena fizzled out quickly and tropical storm Philippe. So as of the 10 p.m. advisory, 50 mile per hour winds with Philippe moving to the west northwest now at 5 miles per hour. It's expected to bring flooding conditions and heavy rainfall to portions of the Leeward Islands as it passes just to the east of it. The center of the storm will likely stay east. It will eventually move off to the northwest, then north, then move to the northeast, strengthening over time over favorable conditions in the central Atlantic, east of Bermuda and well east of the United States, but still strengthening over time. Again, no effect to the U.S or the Gulf Coast, but just a system we're keeping our eyes on as it does have some further development in the long term. Also, Tropical Storm Arena weakened into Tropical Depression earlier today. Now it is post-tropical arena, 30 mile per hour winds moving to the north quickly at 13 miles per hour. You can barely tell where the center of the storm is now as it quickly fizzled out. And you can see the latest track is pretty much non-existent. Only two legs of it by 7 a.m. Monday, just still a remnant low and it will fizzle out over the next several hours and we should be the National Hurricane Center has actually issued their last advisory on arena. We've had 18 storms total. The first one was an unnamed system. Then we had Arlene all the way through arena. Next name is Sean, then Tammy on the list of storm names. Of course, right now we're not, we're not watching any other areas of development, but we will keep you updated on the latest online on WKRG.com as well as in our hurricane map room. You go to the weather tab, click on hurricane map room and view the latest tracks on any active tropical systems and learn more about some of the tropical climatology that we see at different times of the year. I'm meteorologist Grant Skinner, WKRG News 5.